What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and this is One UI 6 Beta. It just came out the other day and I wanted to show it off a little bit and some of the features that are on here. I'm not going to show you every feature but I'm going to show you a bunch of the feature features that are on here that are new. Uh, so let's just get into it. So first of all you can see on my home screen this looks different if you have this widget where it shows the date and the weather that all looks different right there you can hit this three dots and um, this is assistant at a glance so if you use this this is again it's just going to look different for you um, when you swipe down from the top these are the new things in here so you see the full screen of what i'm looking at and what i'm watching uh, I'm watching a YouTube video is my YouTube video and uh, not that I always do that But you can see that it goes on uh, nice and full screen If I pull down again You can see I have separate toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and then I have all my quick toggles as well If I swipe down from the right it brings down everything so I'll show you That's what it looks like when you swipe down over there But if you do it from the right it brings down everything all at once you can still do the two fingers and that does something similar as well so you still have that all in there if you want to turn what i have on in there all you're going to do is hit this edit button and then go into quick settings instant access and you can see if you turn that on you can swipe down from the top right in order to access that access that information also by pulling down from the top here your and you could do this before in the settings but by default your uh quick access brightness control is at the top now uh, by default so you can you have that up there it's pretty nice in case you didn't know that little trick before if you have notifications they show up as separate cards so they're just a little bit easier to see now if you go into settings and then notifications you can sort notifications by priority or by time so I'll sort mine by time and that's one of the new features on here as well on the home screen they've now simplified the icon labels so for a cleaner and simpler look Galaxy and Samsung have been removed from some app names to make them shorter and easier to scan so you won't have like two lines for a, an app name anymore it'll just be one I, I don't even remember having it all on two lines maybe I did but now it's everything's on one line you can also drag and drop things that are on your home screen to different screens so I'm gonna show you like say if I want this smart dashboard I can press and hold it and I can let me just get it I can drag it around but I can also use this other finger and navigate to where I want so maybe I want it to be right here and I'm done it's there but again that's pretty cool that you can do that now and just move things so if you're doing your home screens it might be a little bit easier to do that now they have a new default font and as long as your font is set to default it will take over so if you go to font and again it's the default font it just shows you right there it, it looks I actually like I actually like the way it looks it looks a little bit more modern and eye-catching so you can always change it if you want but uh, the, if you have your font set to default it'll go there if you have it set to another one you have to go in there and change it to default and it'll change it to the new one UI 6 font when you're sharing images or photos it will actually show them at the top so you know what you're sharing still and then you can choose what you want to send it through that's pretty cool it also works on videos it doesn't play the video while you have it selected but it's still cool that it actually shows at least the cover of the video you now have custom camera widgets so if you come in here choose widgets and then go to camera you have now these new custom camera widgets that you can set to different things that you want so I can give it a title maybe I just want it to be I'll just call it video hit save next you can do starting mode tap on that and then choose if you want it to be the rear or the front I'll choose rear and then I'll choose video and go back here and then you can save the pictures to something specific if you want and then the widget background you can uh, use your most recent image in the camera album or you can select an image maybe I want it to be uh, this one and then I'll just hit save and now that's my widget so when I press that it's going to automatically open my camera to video at all times and you can do that for really any of those camera things inside of the camera app if you want to quickly change your megapixels in photo mode you'll see 12 megapixels right there I can tap that go to 50 or 12 so it's much easier than before or it's just a little bit clearer it's just right at the top there so that's pretty nice to be able to do that also with video you'd always get the different resolutions but now you also get if you want to change that as well the uh, the uh, aspect ratio 
I don't have anything to scan, but just to let you know that you can scan documents easier. You used to have to have Scene Optimizer um, turned on, but even if you have it turned off now, it, it'll automatically, even in the photo mode, bring up, it'll allow you to scan documents. So that's a nice little added feature as well. They have new quality optimization. So if you go into settings of the camera app and then go into advanced intelligence options, you have all these different settings. You can speed up capture time by doing less optimization. You can do minimum pictures, take as fast as possible, but no optimizing pictures after they're taken. The quality optimization setting above only affects photo mode. So you can see you have those different modes to choose from. That's pretty cool as well. So if you want, again, to take faster photos, just reduce these, otherwise just keep it at maximum. You have this mode where you can swipe up or down to go between the different cameras, but you can actually now turn that off. If you go into the settings of the camera, you will see Swipe up, swipe down, you can turn it on or off right there. In albums, you can actually, kind of like what we did on the home screen, you can select a photo here. And now let's just say I want this to remove. So what I'll do is I'm gonna press and hold that. It's gonna move and now I can, let me move this over here. Actually, let me do this with my, my, my left hand. I'm gonna press and hold it. All right, cool. And then I can use my other hand and choose where I want to go so I can navigate and then I can, if I want, I can bring it over here and drop it right in there if need be. They have a new app that automatically installs. It's called Studio and it's a video editor. I haven't really used it, but when you open it up, this is what it looks like and hit start new project and choose pictures and videos that you want and create your new thing that you want. Again, it's just a, a more powerful video editor installed on the, on the phone, so that's pretty cool. Here's the new video player, and they, basically what they did with this is they just uh, grouped similar functions together, and they also put the play button in the center of the screen, so I'll open it in the video player again. So there you go. There's also enhanced playback speed controls if you wanna play this faster or slower. If you go into your phone app and then go into the settings and then you go into Bixby text call, if you have Bixby text call and it'll basically answer your calls, that's not really anything new. Um, but what is pretty new in here, you can now edit the greetings that Bixby says when you uh, are answering using a Bixby text call, you just go into uh, quick responses and you can add your own in here. It said add quick response, give it a title, write your response and Bixby will say it when you're on a call. You can also switch to Bixby during a call. Um, you can switch to Bixby call, text call at any time, even if the call is already in progress. So if you're like talking to somebody, you can also, you can again, just switch to Bixby call. If you use the Finder from the app launcher, you can actually do quick actions now within apps. So if you long press it, for instance, on the calendar app, I can add an event. So you can do different things within certain apps when you're searching for them. You now have a smarter airplane mode. So if you turn on, uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth while airplane mode is on, your phone will remember that. So I'm gonna turn on airplane mode and automatically it keeps my, oh, actually my Wi-Fi is off and my Bluetooth's off, but if I wanted to keep those on, which I would, I can just go like this. I'm gonna keep both of those on and then I'm gonna turn this off real quick just to show you. I'm gonna turn airplane mode on or off, I should say. All right, so now it's off. I'm gonna turn it back on. It's gonna leave those both because it remembers it automatically. So that's kind of a nice feature too. Battery settings is now its own category under settings. So if you go into battery, you don't have to go into device and whatever it was settings. It's right in here, allowing you to find out what you need to find for anything to do with your battery. And that's pretty much it. I skipped a couple things, but, um, or a few things probably, but uh, ultimately that is kind of what it looks like. So far, so good. I haven't, I've been using this for do, 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 a handful of hours now at this point, maybe six hours or so, maybe a little bit longer. And it's been very good. It feels smooth. It feels good. Um, no issues at all. I'm, I'm enjoying it very, very much. So if you want to download it, just go to the Samsung Members app and look at the top there. You'll see um, a bunch of things you can swipe through. Look for one that says One UI 6 for Galaxy Z Fold 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road.